What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been doing well lately. Welcome back. It is 2021. Happy New Year! I am so excited to be done with 2020. Now I know things aren't going to change overnight, but I have hope. I have hope that 2021 will bring something fresh, new, exciting, and healthy. I hope everyone had a great New Year's Eve and were safe. I was here at home and I made some tacos. I had a taco night. I had a video chat with some friends and had some wine and it was awesome. And yeah, you know, I was, I was happy and grateful to be home and safe and healthy and all that good stuff. Now, this video, I kind of want to chat about manifestation and the art of achieving your goals. Over the years, I've kind of developed my own version of manifesting and understanding the law of attraction. This is by no means anything to do with the secret, although I did read that book years ago, but the concepts and the ideas behind that book and that theory is what we're gonna be talking about today. Now, manifesting, honestly, is one of the truest forms of the law of attraction. I've been doing it for years without even realizing it until maybe like eight years ago when I started to really look into stuff like this. And basically whatever you put out into the universe comes back to you. And the way manifestation has worked for me is saying things out loud. Now for many other people, it, it can be writing it down, it can be making a vision board, it can be praying, anything like that to help you achieve your goals and manifest what you want in life. But I found what's worked best for me as an individual is saying things out loud. A prime example of this was, I kept saying a few years ago, I'm gonna graduate university before my 30th birthday. I kept saying it. No matter what, I just kept saying it. I don't wanna be 30 and in university. Not that it matters, because you can go back to school whenever you feel like it, but this was an example of something that I just kept being so adamant about, and I would say it to anybody who would listen, basically. Everybody knew I was in school, and I kept saying, you know what, I'm gonna graduate before I'm 30. And of course, the year of my 28th birthday, the school that I was at went on a strike that was unprecedented. It went on for six months straight and basically set me back a year. And so I did graduate, don't get me wrong. I graduated, but the day before my 30th birthday, so July 29th, 2019, I graduated school, I was done. I wrote my last exam and then I flew off to Thailand the following day for my 30th birthday, but that's neither here nor there. And, and it's just ironic how the universe kind of plays out even with all those trials and tribulations that year, I still managed to graduate but before I turned 30. And it's just hilarious how it was literally like a day before. But it's like, even in my, my head, like I knew I was gonna graduate. Come hell or high water, I knew I was gonna graduate. It's the same thing with me moving into my, my new house. I said to myself, I'm gonna move in November. Now when I tell you I was on the hunt for my own place, my own space, my own house, in the beginning of 2020, I was determined, and then the pandemic hit, and it was unprecedented, we all felt it, we all went through some crazy, crazy things, and I was so adamant about moving. I kept looking at places, my real estate agent was helping me, I couldn't get accepted for certain places, like, nobody was taking me seriously. You know, when I felt overlooked, it was hard, I, you know, I gave up quite a few times. In the summer, I was, no, not in the summer. In May, I was looking like hardcore because I wanted to be in my house before my 31st birthday, okay? I have a thing about birthdays. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna move before my 31st birthday. I'm gonna be in my house on my 31st birthday. Of course, you know, the universe didn't work out that way. It was one of those things where things were just not working out. I kept looking, I was being outbid by people, you know, it, just multiple factors were happening and I was really disappointed. And so in the summer I said, screw it. I'm not looking at a single place. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill for the summer and see what happens. I gave up. 
And then in October, I looked at, you know, this one building and I was like, oh, this is great. Like it's in the perfect location. And it was on the 51st floor of the building. I went in, things seemed like it was good. This was in October, the beginning of October. And I was like, this is it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this place. And we just never heard back from, you know, the, the owners, they were not having it with me. And I was like, oh, here we go again. I'm done. I wrote in my journal that day. I'm like, you know what? When is this chapter in my life going to end? When is this mountain that I keep climbing and obstacles that I keep having to, you know, headbutt into, when will it stop? And literally three days later, because I wrote that in my journal on November 1st, three days later, I got accepted for the place that I'm living in right now. And yeah, I, I have been here ever since. Now, before I continue with that though, I did say in October, I'm gonna be in my own place in November and I'm gonna have Christmas Eve at my house, at my own house this year. And so I was determined, I kept saying that out loud and for some reason for me, when I say things out loud, it, it just happens. And so, I know a lot of people might be skeptical about this, but literally, you know that saying about you are what you eat or you are, you know, the, the compilation of the people around you or you are the energy that you put out into the universe. It's the same thing. It's the same concept. Now, it might not be as literal, but if you're determined to get something, you're going to get it. The, the powers that be will help you get there. And it's, it seems like it's a skeptical concept and hard to believe, but I've been there so many times and I can tell you that it's a real thing. It's a real thing and that's why I'm so careful with what I say. I never realized how much like my world is affected by what I say and what I believe about myself. And that goes the same, it's the same for you. And honestly, I'm, I'm taking it way more seriously because I've achieved things that I thought that, like in my head I knew I wanted and I, I, I felt like I could do it, but I wasn't sure if I could get there. But there was always some part of me that knew that I could do the things that I wanted, I could do great things. And that goes for everyone, honestly. And so, here we are manifesting 2021 this is not a new year's resolution by the way okay this is not a new year's resolution this is basically my way of saying whatever you want in life you can achieve no matter what it is no matter how hard it seems the universe will conspire to help you achieve whatever you want if you really really believe it and that is the art of manifestation that is the art of achieving your goals and making your dreams a reality that is what that is anyways guys this was just a quick chit chat honestly i feel like i could talk about this forever i literally could talk about this forever comment below and let me know if you've experienced any kind of manifestations and and any dreams that have come true and you're completely shocked by it comment below and let me know. And until I see you next time, catch you later.